graphic extras. In this video, I'm just going to show you one of the new features of Photoshop 14.2, and that's the place along path feature, scripted patterns, and you can find it via the edits menu. Now, I've actually just defined a pattern, and this is the pattern I've just defined, very basic pattern. Of course, you can create ever complicated, more complex patterns, but in this case, I've just gone for a rectangle. And I've got transparency, you can just see obviously behind, so done a defined pattern. Now I'm just gonna go over to a new document, and I'm gonna create a path, that's the key thing. And I'm just gonna just basically create a very simple path. I don't think overly complicated, just a very basic path. Now, go over to edit and fill. While that's actually selected, you can see it's actually selected there. And I'm just gonna select the pattern I've created. And the key thing here is use pattern, obviously set the custom pattern, scripted pattern, set that to be on, and select the place along path. Okay, click OK. And now one of the good things about this uh, new version of, with 14.2 is that it comes up with a little dialogue, which makes it a little bit easier, though not particularly great in terms of the fact that it doesn't actually show the same path. Shows a sort of, it's a preview that sort of loosely looks like it. Anyway, you can modify the scale so you can actually see them just sort of decreasing off there. There's various spacing so you can increase the spacing so it's, can't see it at all, goes flying off the edge. But decrease it. And you can also modify the angle. You can see those slightly rotating and move around by the angle. Now, of course, if it's like a circle or something, you won't see any difference. So it's not particularly useful in that case. But distance from path, you can modify that. Reduce, reduce, down so they basically approach. Also, you've got alternate patterns. I'll turn that off so it's actually just a single pattern. This one's alternate pattern. So you can see on both sides, you can just see the Obviously, the gap there, gap there. Get rid of that. There's also a scale progression, which is quite nice. Where you actually, you actually, this is a scale progression, so you can actually just see it going all the way down smoothly each time, being reduced. Now, obviously, you increase it, increase it. And it goes up obviously above 100%, and it flies off the screen. But anyway, it does increase, so you can actually see it getting bigger and bigger as it goes further along. Also, you can modify color randomness. So you can actually have it, obviously, well, actually you notice that if I actually reduce that down, it actually becomes fairly, reduce that as well, because that would help. You will see it all as reds. Now, color randomness, if I put that up there, you can actually see there's some actual randomness to the color. And it depends, obviously, the actual initial colour of the object. That's the key thing there. If it's obviously not solid colour, like red, very, there's not going to be much. Some work, some colours work better with the colour randomness than others. Brightness, randomness, and you will actually see again. I'll reduce the colour randomness down, and you will see that it will actually vary the brightness as well for the object. Anyway, that's a few examples quickly of. Click OK and it will apply it, and there you have it. Not the most elegant, perhaps, of pass, nor most elegant of results, but there's obviously an infinite possibility to use pass to create some really weird and wonderful, maybe like spiral designs, etc. Hope you found this 